Hello everyone. So today I have another labor of love for you and another long video. So make sure you get your popcorn and your choice of drink minus tea and join me for the next hour as I do my remodel. Okay, complete teardown and rebuild of the Von Hunt estate uh, from uh, Get Together. So I was never a fan of this building and I always meant to come and redo it. And when the castle estate kit came out, I couldn't resist. So I decided to build a small castle, okay, medium-sized castle, and redo this. So, I really had no idea what I wanted to do. I did end up looking at some photos of different castles and different estates. And I really liked one that I stole that had these kind of square base and then the tower, the round tower up above it. So I wanted to do that. Now, I will say the round towers are just decorative in the front anyway. The back tower is not, but the front two are just decorative. You can't get into them how I have it designed. You could add doorways if you wanted to, but the way I designed it, they're just there and decorative. And I think they look cool. Um, it's mostly because they're so small, it's hard to furnish the inside of those with anything but you can pretend they're you know prisons that works right well just you, you put you know somebody has access to it and and the prisoners are stored there okay and yes I say stored I did not put any type of dungeon or anything in this either really in my mind for this one it's a small maybe country estate type feel for you know some noble you know that that was kind of the thought process on that it's also been updated so this isn't a castle I designed for anyone to live in because I believe for this lot you can't do that anyway but I did design it to be something that would work with growing or growing together get together and I made it kind of a multi-purpose lot you can have different types of gatherings here I did create a wedding chapel area so I did set it up with a focus on being able to have a wedding here I do use a lot of packs um I'm not I'm not sorry because this needed it um but I have like my wedding stories the the chapel's done with I have a few other things thrown in from there that's decor um again if you don't own these packs the game should switch this all out for you and you know replace it with something and hopefully it's something that works well but you know you don't have to own all the packs to download this this also can go on any other type of lot. I believe when I downloaded it from the gallery to play test in one of my save files, because I actually think I'm going to replace this in like every world with this one. And yeah, so I downloaded it and, you know, all that. Now I've completely lost my train of thought. So wherever I was going with that. But anyway, yes, I did play this, this and everything works pretty well. However, I will say there is a fountain on the back area of this. And I completely forgot to make sure that it worked well or even pay attention to it working well. I shrunk it down. So if the fountain is not there in the uploaded version of this it is because I play tested it again and it didn't look right or didn't work or something so anyway I will say I didn't talk about these stairs 
I wanted just a very like regal and just amazing look to these stairs. And we can't do the curved ends to a staircase here. So I thought using platforms would kind of give that feel. Also, maybe this was kind of a, you know, you could say maybe it was a throne room. So maybe this castle goes way back and this was like a minor king, you know, built this castle to begin with. And this was their throne room. So these steps led up to that. But then they replaced the throne when, you know, they were overthrown or whatever and added stairs. <laughs> so, yeah. that, that's, that's my lore, okay? There, there's some lore with this one. Uh, you'll hear a little more lore later in this build. I definitely, if you've never watched this channel, I love doing stories for my builds because it helps create the build. I think some people I've noticed have trouble building because they want to get on, they want to build, but they're not building for a family. They're not building for somebody to live in it and they struggle. So my advice is always pick out a family. Always pick out somebody to build it for. Even like this situation where it's not a residential lot, at least not in my, you know, version of it. You could make it into a residential. But it it's so much easier when you have a client in mind is really it. So anyway... The other thing is, this was a really fun build. It took me, oh geez, what did it, what did it come up with? I want to say the final length of video was something like eight and a half hours. However, I'm going to warn you ahead of time, there are parts that I did not record. And I want to say... It was probably like almost two hours worth. And some of that was just me playing around, figuring out how I wanted to get things done and how to do it. And then usually what I did was went back, deleted what I did, and then redid it for you guys. But that was so it wouldn't take quite so long to do because I'd be cutting that out anyway. So I usually just paused the video and went on my, you know, my happy way. So... Here I decided I wanted this little tower. I needed something up here. And also, just why I'm thinking about it, you'll notice in the pictures that there is a glass roof on the top of this castle. I do not put that in in this speed build. I was taking pictures and realized that's what I wanted there. And I think it looks pretty cool. So you'll see it in the photos. Let me know what you think in the comments below if you like that. It's easy to remove if you don't, if you want to just make it a flat roof. Uh, but I don't know. I needed something there and this entryway needed some light. So that was my solution. All right. So we're moving on and I'm working on the wedding chapel here. And... One thing that I really wanted this to be kind of something basic, neutral, and not like specific to any one, you know, event. So you can easily go in, go into build mode and change this to colors that you would want if you want to do a wedding here. But... That was kind of my thought process. So I tried to use these curtains from, I think it was from my wedding stories, and I hated them. So what I ended up doing eventually was using the the Desert Luxe curtains just to create kind of a, a softer look to these stone walls. And I kept with stone almost everywhere in this build for flooring, for the walls, there's only a couple spots that it's not stone. And again, it's more of the historical aspect of a castle. The actual castle keep was usually stone. It, I mean, there, there wasn't much that wasn't a stone. But 
it, it also depended on who was building it too. But I went with the, you know, there, there, there's a lot of stone. <laughs> the front two rooms I eventually get to, I had no idea what to do with those. So toward the end of the video, I finally work on those and end up having to change quite a bit that I don't record. So that's another area that I don't show you everything. Just again, this would have been like a, you know, hour and a half, almost two hour video if I had actually recorded everything I did and not cut out things. I, I still trimmed. And so, so here I'm just kind of trying to figure out some, you know, floral arrangements and how to make this look, you know, fancy. The other thing I forgot to play test was this Iowway. I'm going to go back and do that before I upload it. I have it set up right now so that it kind of goes under that platform. So I'm kind of hoping they'll step up onto the platform to do the vows. If not, I'm just going to move that uh, the wedding arch forward a bit so that it, you know, it works with where they have to be. <laughs> so, yeah, I just, I, I forgot. I'm like, oh, shoot, I was going to test that and I needed to marry a sim. And I set them up so they were already married when I created them. So they're going to have a renewal ceremony, you know, 20 minutes after being <laughs> married <laughs> by being created. But that's okay. That's how it works. So if you do notice pauses, again, I am drinking sips of tea because my throat, it, though it was getting better, as I was just editing this for two hours, I put on some music and was, you know, singing along and then realized that I still had to record the video. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm, I'm drinking some tea. My, my, my throat's feeling a lot better, but... Yeah, I kind of killed it a little bit doing that. But hey, it was fun. And it made this process go by a lot quicker. So over here, I decided to put in a bathroom. And I tried to use these stalls and said heck with it. And did what I normally do with a bathroom. Is, you know, put in these stalls. Apparently, this is like, you know, what most other countries do. I see it here in the U.S. every once in a while, too, where it's just built-in bathrooms, and really, that's the way we need to go. It, it's so much better. You don't have to worry about somebody crawling under the thing or CNN or whatever. It's nice. So, that's my rant. Well, for right now. I might get into another rant about Sims something later. So, anyway, this bathroom I wanted to kind of... It's a, it's a co-ed. And I wanted to make it a little fancy. I also kept the walls as stone, except for where they would have put in walls. So you can see attention to detail right there. So there's wallpaper in some of those stalls, but the end and the back wall is stone. So here I'm trying to put in some sort of something on the wall. And I decided a mirror would work well. And then I hated how this looked. So playing around a bit, trying to figure out what I can put there. And I thought these jungle adventure stones would be really cute. Now, again, if you don't have jungle adventure, I don't know what the game's going to attempt to replace those with, if anything. So, but the mirror still works. So that shouldn't be a big deal. The other thing I used a lot in this build was Realm of Magic and Vampires. And a lot of that has to do with the fact that the items in those packs just work well with a castle. Of course, I've used Get Together as well. But these rugs from this one, I believe, was from Realm of Magic. And then I used a couple of the vampire ones later on as well. Like right here. I will say, I struggled a bit with this area. I really wanted to have a rug that would go all the way from the door up to the stairs. But it just wasn't going to work. And I didn't like how it looked. 
when I did it as carpet because the top rounded platform, it made me carpet almost all of it. So I said, you know what? We're just going to do a carpet that goes, you know, the other way and connects these two rooms here. So here I'm working on the buffet area for your dining pleasure. And originally you could see I put in some cabinetry. I didn't like it. And then I realized, well, I need buffet tables and things anyway. So tore that down and put this in instead. And I actually like this a lot better. So I was able to decorate it a little more. You can see I'm playing with a few things here, trying to figure out what I want to put in. And again, you know, the focus was kind of on more of a wedding, you know, taking place here. But it doesn't have, you know, you can have dinner parties here, whatever, you know, that all the, the events. Now, you can't have a pool party here because I didn't put in a pool, okay? But you can have, you know, some nice get-togethers here. Now, I will say the table, you will see that originally I had the get-together table. And I go back to that. I'm going to ruin that surprise right now. I did not like any of the rest of these. I tried. I wanted something with like a tablecloth. Something that, you know, looked a little fancier. And just did not like it. And I'm like, you know what? It's a castle. We're going to say that the original table and chairs are there now. That being said, it's a castle. They're probably not original chairs. I mean, come on. How many of those have probably gotten busted over somebody's head, right? So, I know, a little too realistic right there, but that's how my mind works. Okay. So, yeah. So, we're going to go with that, though. They, they, they kept it more to the time period. And I tried to do that with most of the first floor is keep it very time period specific. So, you know, middle age is that type of feel. Now, that being said, this is an updated castle. So, you know, there there's electric, though I put in mostly candles for all the lighting. There is electric, <laughs> as you can see from me putting in this DJ booth. Oh, I struggled with this, too. I I thought putting an entry there and then the DJ could enter that way would be cute. But then I decided, no, I didn't. I didn't like that. And this dance floor. How perfect is this dance floor? I love that little medallion. I'm like, where did this come from? Why did I not know this existed? Probably because about the only place I could see that working is a castle. So, yeah, I'm thinking that's probably it. I've never had a spot I've needed to use that swatch in. So, anyway, I was very excited about that. So, here I decided to put the bar in this area. And how I'm treating this is kind of like a like outdoor but indoor room. So maybe at one point it was kind of outside, a covered outside area in the castle and they've closed it in. However you want to think about that. But as I'm decorating it, it, you know, it's not really an indoor room. It's supposed to be a vibe of an outdoor. Okay, so I've already gone on a rant about the windows and yes, I know that realistically, the smaller windows that do fit on these round towers are more realistic. But at the same time, you know, we, we need bigger windows for these bigger, th these bigger round rooms. But we do have some we can use and I put some in and... The story with that is pretty much, you know, they decided to replace the tiny windows that were in that tower with larger 
windows at some point. So they tore the bricks out, tore the windows out, and put in new windows. And I think it works. I mean, I don't think they look too out of place. Actually, I don't think they look out of place at all. I just, you know, I wish we had that stone border with those. And, like, none of the other ones work either. So that that's what makes me sad. We really need some more rounded windows. Actually, while I'm thinking about that, if you haven't checked out my community tab, I have a poll there asking you guys about what you might want to see in a next kit. And really, it's, you know, it's just a few ideas I have of what might be cool or what other people might find cool. And it's all for building. It's not caskets or, you know, anything like that. It's all like, you know, build mode, buy mode kits. So check that out. Vote. Let me know what you think. If you have other ideas for, you know, better kits, leave a comment. Because, yeah, I'm curious as to what you guys are thinking, too. I, after doing this, I really decided we needed more fountains, fountain options in this game because there's not a lot. And, like, I couldn't build a fountain into this castle on, you know, with the uplifted foundation. I would have had to do it on the ground, and that that made it difficult. I was able to put one in when I shrunk it, <laughs> but I couldn't do what I really wanted to do out there. So, yeah, that was my, you know, my thought and what started that poll. So go check that out. So anyway, in this room, I wanted to make it kind of formal. But this is just a sitting room, you know, piano in here. Nothing too crazy. Just a nice little area to relax and just, you know, enjoy a drink from the bar in the next room. Uh, the other thing is, I apologize if I reused artwork. As I said, this build took me over a week to actually do. And I forgot what I used where. I'm just going to be honest. I, yeah, just forgot what I used where. So... I will say I reused the same rugs a couple times because we really don't have any really good traditional rugs in this game. Oh, pretty much what I've been using is it. Luckily, I could get them in different colors, so that helped. You can see I'm trying to play there. I gave up. That That's just stone over there. So here I'm putting in some stuff for the dance floor. And... I will say, when I went to play test and I put this into my build, for some reason that DJ booth disappeared. What was weird is the shadow for it was still there. I put in a new one. I'm going to double check my main build because I haven't gone back into that yet. And see if it's there or if it got deleted somehow. But just in case it didn't get deleted... That could be something that happens when you download this. Let's see here. Just putting in more artwork. And again, we, we need more artwork too. Like classic artwork. Eventually you'll see I start downloading some art from the gallery. And that should be stuff that you guys can get because it's on the gallery. And isn't like a pack specific anything. So the bedrooms upstairs have some downloaded art and the same with a couple other rooms up there and it's just because I got so tired of reusing the same stuff yeah yeah we need an art pack too apparently well I guess I mean it's not that bad because if you're playing most of the time your sim can create some really cool art like they could come out and do some landscape photos out here and put that up in here somewhere if you wanted to decorate it, you know, with art on your own. So, yeah. The other thing is there is an art room in here. As I said, this is kind of a multi-purpose lot. So your Sims can enjoy art 
in the art room and decorate that up a little bit. I put a few things in there, but I did leave some empty space. So this is me playing with fountains again. I really wanted a fountain out here. I put this one in because, well, it, it worked. It isn't the best, but it worked. And that, again, is why I'm like, we need more fountains. <laughs> and this was before I even started the one outside. So, yeah. Uh, what, what I was hoping with this is, like I said, it's kind of an outdoor, indoor-outdoor room. So that's why there's some ivy growing and things like that. So I was hoping to use that castle artwork. But I realized it just looked too modern. And then I found these that I thought were absolutely awesome. And I believe these are from Get Famous. And so I just put that in, put this uh, banner with kind of a coat of arms. And I thought that looked pretty cool. So happy with that. Put another little fountain on the wall over there by the dining buffet area. And... Really wanted to use that little plaque somewhere, so I finally found a spot to do that. And that came from the castle cat. And now just kind of checking out some finishing touches on this lower area, which I will say now I do go through and change a few things. I completely forgot I wanted to put a fireplace in there. So I ended up doing that, but I had left the game on or the recording program on pause when I did that, so just in case I forget to say something later, that happens, and I wasn't going to go back and redo all of the work I had just done. I want to say it was like 45 minutes worth of work. So, at the same time, I did all this, and I did this room, I did the art room, and I did another room, and I also forgot to hit pause. However, or unpause, however, I went back through and recorded me doing these again. And that's one reason it might look like it's going really, really quick. Like I'm not really trying to figure things out because I already did. Um, luckily, there, this was probably the most detailed room of the group. And you can kind of see it was... it. It wasn't too bad. So that's why I went ahead and just redid it because I think all three rooms probably took me about 40 minutes and coming through and redoing them took me about 15 because I already knew what I wanted and where. But I wanted you guys to see me decorate this because I thought these ended up really cool. And the thought process really wasn't much. A lot of what took me longer was just figuring out colors for the carpet. Uh, and the bookshelves, so. And same with in here, you know, colors for these tarps, you know, all that. And uh, you can see here where I do pull in the paintings. I hadn't done that part yet. So that is something I didn't do originally. All right, so this room, I wanted to be a game room. So again, if you're doing like a club gathering, you can come here and have some options. I kept this side of the room kind of open. I thought I had put a rug under that sofa, but my pictures say I didn't or it got deleted. I'm not sure. I had to go through and do a whole bunch of fixes to get this here done. And this is one of the front rooms. And... I did not record all the fixing I did, but this gave me such a hassle trying to do. And I ended up enlarging these this room. I enlarged the office eventually. I think you'll see me do that one. But so I changed the layout of the bottom level a little bit so I could fit this kind of a daycare type area in. Daycare slash kid area. Because honestly, I haven't really visited this lot very often. I think I did kind of went through the house and went and left. Not even thinking, hey, there's all these garden areas to explore. So I don't know if they have anything for kids in there or not. But I wanted to create kind of a daycare feel 
thing for for kids. So if you have to bring a kid here for any reason, they have something to do. You can also lock up your toddlers and infants. So I did play test this. The pads work. I didn't play test the potty, but it should work. It, it There's nothing blocking it. And I just thought it was something fun. I also put some marbles from the four rent pack in this front entry area so some kids can play with that. You may have seen I threw in some hopscotch. I took that out later on just because it just didn't quite fit, you know, the vibe. The marbles is okay, but I, I didn't keep the hopscotch. So here I am just kind of trying to decorate. And you could see, like, I had to lower the walls to put a lot of stuff in. This just wasn't working with me, and I think it had to do with the round towers on top. I probably should have waited to do those until the end, but I didn't even think it would cause a problem with the lower room, but apparently it does. Uh, so I will remember that for next time. Also, the stuff on the wall is literally just where the game would let me put it. Um, so if you want to change it, have fun. That's all I'm going to say. Um, remove the tower from up above. <laughs> That <laughs> might be my only advice. I was almost to that point where I was like, I'm just going to move it. Like, move it off that area and see what happens. But same thing with this office area. I had to bring the walls down for everything. I am debating. So if, you might notice I do this. With this room, this wall between the uh, dining area and the office, I'm debating about making that a very tall half wall only because then it will stay up when you have the walls down and mostly just because do you really want to be looking at this office while you're trying to do dining stuff or you know looking into the dining room while you're in the office or whatever I'm thinking you'd be in the dining area more than this office there's not much in here it's really just decorative And also, because I was having so many problems trying to put things in here, I didn't clutter this up a whole lot either. So there's a few things that are in here, but other than that, I didn't put a whole lot of clutter. I did add a cute little seating area here for, we'll say these are people who are coming to, you know, book their wedding here or book an event of some sort. And they can, you know, sit there and chat. So now I'm just, again, trying to decorate this up. Uh, I had to do some weird things to get this, you know, to work for me. But it did eventually. And I think really keeping this office kind of more of a bare bones is a little more realistic. I don't think somebody in this situation is going to have too crazy of an office. Now, I did put a night in there. There are nights scattered throughout this whole thing because they fit and I'm excited to be able to use them now I think these are they might be from the get together pack or the get famous pack I can't remember which one but yeah so here I am yeah changing up this office area I move I move a few things around just because things weren't working so Yeah, you can see me putting in the nights here and just some display stuff because in my mind, this is also kind of a living museum. So they have some things on display to kind of give you the history of this castle. And that's kind of what I'm doing in this entry area is kind of displaying more of that. And I think having that, you know, that theme there works really well. So now we're moving upstairs again. And this is the bathroom for what I'm going to call the master suite. And so I wanted it to be extra luxurious. This is, say you're having a wedding here and you just, you know, you stay here the night. That can be your kind of honeymoon 
that was my thought with this. So you can, you know, enjoy this luxurious room and bathroom area. That was kind of, yeah, my thought was that. I will say, watching this, I struggled so bad with this bathroom. I was trying not to use too much from Get Famous, and I ended up using a lot. Sorry. Not really. I also put this cute little, like, I'm not even sure what that's called. Little little table area from the forefront pack. I thought it fit well in there. And again, in my mind, these these, these are items that maybe the owners of the castle throughout the centuries gathered on travels. So there's a few things kind of thrown in there that you may not think of as medieval, but you do have to remember a lot of times they traveled, you know, to different countries and got different things. And we'll say that, you know, again, this is something maybe the family has lived here for, you know, the majority of even the 19th to, you know, 20th centuries, and then, you know, donated it to a foundation or whatever, eventually. And so it could have been even something that was picked up during, you know, travel in the 19th century or you know, whenever, as as that all opened up to more and more people. So, as I said, yeah, I do overthink some of these, probably, but I think it makes it fun, and it gives me something to talk about in these belts, okay? <laughs> because we are going on almost 40 minutes, and I need things to talk about, okay? Yeah, so here, playing with the beds playing with this room and I changed this room up a little bit from what it looks like right now but in general it has the same feel I love how it turns out in the end and I I wish this was a real place that I could go visit because I I really like this room the only downside is when I play tested it I took my sim in and, of course, forgot that she has some fame. She likes to break out in song every once in a while. And so she's gained some fame. So people just followed her right into this room before I could lock it. Like, because I think if you're going to use this as like a, a room, you know, a bedroom for, you know, a honeymoon type thing... You're going to want to get both your sims in here and lock that door to everyone. So your sims are going to be stuck in here too. But that way nobody, you know, comes in and bothers you. Because they just came in and started using, like, everything in here. I don't know why they were drawn to here, but they were. Okay. So as a builder, I panicked right here. And went where my walls go. Yeah. So I had to fix that. <laughs> Luckily, it wasn't that big of a deal. I caught it quick enough that I could just back out of everything I did and fix it. I had another issue later on where I actually did have to close out of the game. I'll let you know when that happens. And Or not out of the game, but out of the, the build and go into the manage world screen and come back. That's what I had to do. So here, just kind of trying to find, you know, some cute artwork. And I found this painting, and I don't think I've ever used this before. And I'm like, this is, like, perfect. This is perfect for this type of uh, a build. So, yay for that. Um, and here, just kind of cluttering up the room a little bit. I, I also use this bust. I think this is the same bust that is in the entry and in the office. So, whoever that is thought a lot of herself and had multiple busts made so she could be shown off everywhere. That's that's my story. I'm sticking to it. Alright, so here also, just trying to find something to put in this corner. Wasn't sure what. Thought maybe another little display area and then I found this butler statue and laughed hysterically. So I put it in. Because, you know, you're going to have a butler. It, it may be a statue, but you have a butler, right? Okay. 
maybe it's just because I'd been working on this. I think it was like 10 p.m. when I finally stopped working on this the other night. And for me, that's late. I'm usually in bed between 9 and 10. I'm an early riser, not a not a late night person anymore. So, yeah. And then I also, I used a couple more tables from for rent and then kind of mixed that in. And really, again, I'm going for an eclectic look in this castle because it's been lived in for centuries. It's not... It's not something they put everything together all at once. It's got different, various things in it. So that, again, was kind of my thought process as I went through this build. Um, up here in this hallway area, I didn't want to go too crazy with furnishing. I wanted it to be a very open feel, a uh, little bit of decor, but nothing too crazy. So that's why that's very basic. And then the bathroom here, I didn't go quite as, you know, fancy as the other one, but it's got a little bit of charm to it. And I think it works for kind of your, you know, second guest room, you know, maybe the parents stay, yeah, whatever. But it's here I wanted to set it up as a little more of a castle vibe for the bedrooms and then you have like the study area next to it and maybe the art room was another bedroom you know things like that so that was my thought with making the two bedrooms it's also like if you know anybody could sleep up there so you know how it gets with you know especially trying to do a wedding or you know an event all of a sudden your sims like exhausted so they have somewhere to sleep And the other thing with this bathroom, I have been doing more and more like sinks in the cabinets for the bathrooms. And in this build, it really works well. It's a more traditional feel to it. And I didn't clutter this up too much. Hopefully your Sims don't take plates and put them in here. Yeah. But again, set, you know, we can set these to bathroom and kitchen now, I think. I, I don't know if it'll work in this build or not, but yeah. So, this bedroom. This bedroom is going to have more of an old Hollywood feel. And my story with this one, this is another bit of lore, is that in the, you know, 1940s or so, they decided to film a movie here. Well, the star of the movie decided she needed an updated glamorous bedroom to stay in while they filmed and they weren't going to use this bedroom so they remodeled it a little bit so it was refurnished and had more modern furniture put in so that's kind of why this has a little bit more of a you know ho old hollywood glamour type look it's not overboard they didn't go crazy, okay? <laughs> but that's my story. And that's why it doesn't have more of the castle vibe to it. There's a few things. I mean, they kept these chairs. She was okay with those. And none of the rooms have curtains. I did that for multiple reasons. One, half the time lately my curtains disappear anyway in my builds when I upload them. And two, because these windows are pretty and I think we want to see them. So if you don't, add curtains. If you do, enjoy. So the other thing I struggled with a little bit with this room is trying to decorate it. So just added some plants in this globe. Also put in carpet. And I ended up using this one because I thought it kind of fit that old Hollywood vibe. And that one's from For Rent, in case you don't have that. Or just haven't played with the rugs. So here I'm playing with more rugs. Again, I told you I used these quite a few times in this build. Mostly because they just, you can extend them. We need more of these types of rugs, Sims team. Give me a rug kit. How about that? I don't think I put that in an option for my 
my pole. So, <laughs> and this is, by the way, the pole is not anything like official. And nothing's going to happen with this pole. I'm just curious. So anyway, jumping out here, doing this nice little balcony area. And I wanted something just very kind of open that your Sims could just go and hang out at. If you wanted them to, you could put an easel out here if you wanted to paint. And so I left it very open, but I put this cool little garden thing in here. And so that was my thought is mostly for me anyway. Not that I do a lot with artwork. I would want to go out there and paint. I also wanted to put in the wishing well somewhere. I am using a lot from the Romantic Garden. I think it's a stuff pack. And that's because it was free a few weeks ago. So I'm assuming more of you have that now than don't. So yeah, that that's kind of my thought with that. Okay, so here I decide that I want to expand this bottom balcony deck area however you want to refer to this so that I could put in some sort of a fountain I decided after playing with a few I wasn't sure which one of these I wanted to use like if I wanted to do two of the one or that middle one or this is the one I downsized I like how it looks I'm not sure if it's gonna stay there in the final uploaded version because I forgot to check it to make sure that the water animation looks correct. That's really my my worry with that. So if it's not there, it didn't look good. So here, my usual, when it gets dark, I'm putting in lighting. And I love this castle at night. Love it. It's very basic lighting in here, but it's just so pretty. You'll see some better pictures of that later on. So here I went through and kind of changed a whole bunch. You could see I had a second there of my new balcony that I put upstairs. Uh, you'll get kind of a better view of that later. I don't, I think I did get a picture of that from a, a different angle, not from like straight on. So... I had to redo a whole bunch of stuff to try to get the freezes and all of that fun stuff to work correctly. So yeah, there were there were a few things that I had to change, but nothing too drastic. And you saw the columns I put into the one room, and I think that actually looks a lot better than it did originally. So, all right, so here I start working on this. I'm going through it. Figuring out a few things, and you can see I jumped to this. I did finish that front area. You'll see it again later on. Again, I paused it because I probably spent 20 or 30 minutes going through debug live edit, trying to figure out what I wanted there. So, yeah, just forgot to unpause it and realized when I went to start this that I hadn't done it yet. <clears throat> so... Right there is where I had to just kind of, yeah, restart my my lot. Because <laughs> I deleted the tower, and then it went weird, and I panicked. So, yeah, luckily it all came back. I didn't have to redo anything. Just loaded back in. Which normally, if that happens to you, if you notice something is weird colored or acts like that... Load out of the lot, load back in. It's not a big deal. Okay, so here I would finally decided with the tower area just to do some like overgrown type garden. I tried to do something a little more planned out and it just, it didn't look right. I, I thought this looked a lot better. And as I put in the terrain paint, it starts to look a whole lot better. So that's always a good thing. All right, so here, just kind of playing with what I did up front. You can see a little more of what I was going for there. And of course, it'll be in the, the main pictures. But I really like how this ended up looking. I used uh, garden beds from the debug for For Rent. 
So I'm not sure what will be replaced in that. Uh, but honestly, if it doesn't replace with something you like, put in like a half wall there and then move the found or the platform up on that and the plant should be good th to go there i just wasn't really what i wanted the look i was going for so all right so we finished up the build you can see the glass roof that i added and a few other details and i'm gonna let you guys enjoy the outside views and the interior views guys i have a treat for you a castle in the snow my test sim it was snowing and i couldn't resist including this image all right guys i do hope you enjoyed this build if you did please make sure to like the video so i know you did enjoy this build and subscribe if you're not already all right you guys have a wonderful day and i will see you in the next one bye